Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to power a Raspberry Pi Pico with a battery pack. Normally what we do is we connect the Pico to a USB cable and then we hook up the USB cable to a PC. This way the PC is powering the Pico. To show that the Pico is actually on and running, I wrote a quick little program here to turn on two LEDs. One is the onboard LED and the second is that just a regular LED. The second LED will also flash on and off every second. When I first thought about powering the Pico without the PC, I thought, hey, maybe I could just try using a USB power bank. That should work, right? Let's see. So I'm going to disconnect the USB cable from the PC and just plug it into my battery pack instead. Oh, what do you know? It seems to work just fine. Oh, it turned off. Is my power bank now charged? Well, no, it's perfectly charged. So what happened? I discovered that the Raspberry Pi Pico uses so little power that the power bank thinks there's nothing connected to it, and so it just shuts off. Okay, so power banks will not work. However, AA or AAA batteries work just fine. So I'm going to show how to power the Pico with AA batteries. The Pico needs anywhere between 1.8 to 5.5 volts of electricity to operate properly. Now each battery gives you 1.5 volts, so you can either use two batteries to get 3 volts or three batteries to get 4.5 volts. So with AA batteries in the picture, you have to hook up the negative terminal to any of the ground pins and the positive terminal into pin 39, that is the VSYS pin. The easiest way to do that is to use a battery holder. You then plug the red and black wires into the breadboard. So here's the modified setup. There's a battery pack with the red and black wires connected to the breadboard. When you follow the black wire, you can see it cuts across here and leads to this ground rail, which runs all the way across here and finally connects to the ground pin. The red wire also connects into the screw terminal, but then runs across the switch first. If the switch is off, the circuit is open and no power flows. If it's on, the circuit is closed and the power continues on and connects over to the power rail. You follow the power rail to the end, you can see the red wire directing the power to pin 39, where it then powers the Pico. If you want to know more, check out the links in the description below. There's also some links to Amazon where you can buy the components used in this demo. Anyways, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Leave me a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.